Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the construction of the induction machines. So, not only for induction machines, we will generally think about the any machine. For any machine, any electrical machine. So, two things are important. One is, so we require two things. One is the field. The another one is the armature armature and the third point is we should create the relative speed between the field field and the armature okay here the field is nothing but which will provide the magnetic flux which will provide the flux and armature is nothing but it is the collection of conductors collection of conductors and the current will flow through this Relative speed means it should have relative speed between flux and the armature. Then the EMF or torque will be produced. Anything we will get. Torque for motor is generated and if it is EMF that is for generator. So these are the three things that must, that must and should be useful in for any machines. So for the point of view for our induction point of view we require two things are there one is stator name itself it is a stationary it doesn't have any rotation stationary generally in this we are using stationary part as the field the magnetic we are creating the magnetic field so we are cre creating we are using magnetic field as the stator and rotor itself it is the rotating device it is the rotating part and it should be the armature for different different machines it will be varied different differently it will be varied very different differently okay so to understand the construction of the induction machines we have to understand stator stator it is used for the magnetic field and we have to understand the rotor that is used for the armature okay so in this first we will discuss about the stator construction first in that stator construction mainly we have in the stator construction mainly we have some parts those are rotor construction is different here we should discuss about some point those are one is the stator frame and another one is the stator core another one is the stator core and the third one is the slots the third point is the slots and fourth one about the windings we should discuss about the windings and so these are the main important parts these are the main important parts by using these main important parts we will construct the stator of the induction motor we will construct the stator of the induction motor so so this is the stator construction this diagram is represents the stator construction okay here if you observe here this is we can divide into two parts this is the one part this is the one part second one is the another part so this area this complete area this part and this part this part this part is complete area is known as the is known as the stator core stator core yeah we will discuss about the stator core and this outer part outer part is a round shape outer part is we can call stator frame or stator frame or magnetic yoke we can call it as the magnetic yoke okay and so this is called these are the called pole this is these four points four is called as poles we can name it these are the poles in these poles 
this area so if you again redraw the pole we can define again pole this is called pole core this area is known as the pole core this area is known as the pole shoe this area is known as the pole shoe and in this area we can we can give the winding we can give the winding sometimes it may be north pole sometimes it may be acts as a south pole if it is north pole then it will flux is side if it is a for example if it is a south pole then flux will be entering into the pole shoe the shoe area will be produ producing the flux so okay so these are the general construction of the stator so here always keep in your mind here stator is nothing but the field stator is nothing but the field to produce the magnetic flux okay in that first point we should discuss about the stator frame what is the stator frame this outer part outer ring this outer ring is nothing but the stator frame or magnetic yoke the another name is the magnetic yoke here generally this stator frame made with the cast iron so it is made with the cast iron is the material that is useful and it provides written path for the flux generally we have the flux production is there the flux, flux production is useful for the written path so it is used as a written path for the flux and second point it gives overall protection to the circuit so it gives overall protection how it pro provides overall protection this is actually the so this construction yes like this here if you observe here this is the outer type outer type means it protects from the atmosphere it protects from the unwanted things so that's why it is used as the it is used as a protection also because it is an outside part next it doesn't have any laminations it doesn't have any laminations so we will discuss about this lamination is very clearly in the stator core so this is about the stator frame or magnetic yoke this is about the stator frame or the magnetic yoke okay and next next thing is stator core next thing is the stator core so here core is the term core is the term useful for useful for production of flux production of flux by using by using winding by using the stator winding okay how it works so we will discuss clearly first we will do, discuss about the construction first here the stator core stator core means look at this area so once you look at this area this area means this part this complete part outer part with this this complete area this complete area is nothing but this complete area is nothing but the stator core stator core okay yeah here this stator core is laminated silicon steel so this is used by the laminated silicon steel so but don't confuse with here magnetic stator frame only made with the cast iron only cast iron but stator core is made with the laminated silicon steel so what is the importance of the laminations these laminations are useful to reduce eddy currents to reduce the eddy currents so wherever the core is there generally wherever the core is available some due to the change in the flux some currents will be produced due to the change in the flux some current will be produced these currents are known as the eddy currents eddy currents these eddy currents will be eliminated by providing the laminations laminations means just providing the thin thinner laminations so then there is no production of the current just the flux will be passes like this flux will be passes like this so this is the importance of the lamination here magnetic circuit is composite 
generally induction motor magnetic circuit is composite magnetic circuit that means stator have one type of magnetic material rotor have one type of magnetic material different combination of magnetic materials are available here name itself here silicon is there by adding the silicon to steel hysteresis loss will be reduced decreased hysteresis loss will be decreased you know the what is the hysteresis loss so whenever sudden changes in the sudden changes in the giving flux the poles some poles are does not come to previous position due to that the loss will be occurred that loss is known as the hysteresis loss the loss is known as the hysteresis loss so to avoid the hysteresis loss we are using the silicon okay so here the most important thing is the stator core so two three two points are important to reduce eddy currents we are using the laminations is the first thing and to reduce the hysteresis loss to reduce the hysteresis loss we should use the silica and we should add the silica to the silica to this steel then this losses this will be decreases will be decreases so this is about the construction two points this is the construction of the stator in that we discussed about the stator frame and the stator core i hope all of you understand the session thank you